Sandal height is often one of those things that a lot of people could say can really make or break a bike. Too high or too low and it just won't be comfortable. But it's also commonly thought that the correct saddle height will maximise your pedalling efficiency on the bike. So we're here back in the lab at Bath Uni. We're going to test out, does saddle height affect your pedalling performance? Scott, you're the lab rat today. Facing the wrong way, mate. It's that way. Uh, I just wanted to go down off. So Scott's getting set up for the first test. Um, most people normally set their saddle height to the maximum, so they've got a slight bend in their knee. A good way of doing this is by just resting your heel on the pedal while sat down. We've done a video on how to set your saddle height, so click the link in the description of this video if you want to check that out. Scott has set his current saddle height on what he thinks is comfortable, but also what he thinks is the most efficient for pedaling, uh, using all the right muscles. But let's put it to the test and see if it does actually make a difference. So test one, Scott is using his normal, correct saddle height. Okay, so test one, we've got Scott on the massive treadmill and it's a 10 minute test and we're aiming for about 70 to 80% of Scott's maximum heart rate. It's just below his threshold, so should, shouldn't be too hard on him. And we're measuring power output, heart rate, the VO2, so the amount of oxygen he's using, and also how much lactate he's producing. How does that feel, Scott? Pretty good. Right, now it's time to lower the saddle and try it again. What we do know is that a lower saddle is really gonna help on technical sections, which makes it much easier to move around on the bike. People with quick releases often lower their seats before downhill, and also we've seen the popularity of drop posts on trail bikes, but conceivably, a lot of people set their saddle in that sort of medium height to try and get the best of both worlds, but are you really losing out on the pedaling efficiency? Okay, Scott, so it's the end of the second 10 minute test, your saddle an inch and a half lower. How did that feel? I've got to say, it was a lot harder. Just the initial feeling, I've got a lot more muscle fatigue in my legs. I'm looking just briefly at the numbers on my, on my GPS here. I'm seeing that I had a higher heart rate, but less power. Right, so performance and comfort, not so good. Yeah. So the last set of tests are much more intense. We've got the treadmill inclined much more. Scott's gonna have to go really hard, way above threshold, stay on the treadmill. So let's see what the difference is at this really short one minute and a half, high intensity, high power outputs. Woo! Whoa! Tell you what, that gradient really makes a big difference. And also you can really feel the difference the saddle height being low. You just don't have that same efficiency and my quads were absolutely on fire. It was bringing in some other muscles that I haven't used in a while. That was pretty tough. Okay, so Scott's doing the short, intense interval now with his saddle at correct height, nice and high. I would expect to see in the results that this is easier for Scott to maintain this same speed on the treadmill, but who knows? Easy, that one, should have been. Whew. It was still hard. <laughs> so Jonathan, what do you think the results might suggest? With the lactate and the V2, what, what sort of results do you think we can get? So the lactate should indicate how hard you were finding it. You would expect that where it was more comfortable and more sort of optimal and more efficient, that your lactate would be a bit lower. But obviously, this is only quite a short test. So you mean you want to make me suffer longer? Is that what you're saying? That would be in the ideal world. In the ideal world. And maybe get more people to suffer as well, yeah. so that you've got a, a broader... Yeah, wider range of yeah. results to compare. Well, thank you for your help, and we'll get the results in the dirt shed. Well, Neil, we've finished the physical testing. We're back in the shed. You've got some results for me. Let me know how I got on. Wow, Scott, so disappointing results. Not your results, actually the results are disappointing because... So I was fit and strong, you mean? So I passed that part of the test. Exactly. The results actually show us very, very little. Your heart rate for all of the tests was within one beat per minute, you know, on all of them. Um, it's just really, really similar. Your lactate, again, very similar. So it's actually very inconclusive. Yeah, it is. I think that what we could say was that we could have lowered the seat a little bit more than an inch and a half. Yeah. But I have to say, physically wise, and when I was on the bike, it did feel as though I was using my quads a lot more, and they were tiring, and I had a little bit of knee pain as well. So there is one point that I would pick up on. On the 1 minute 30 sprint, the really punchy test, your VO2 is actually three points higher with your seat high. 
So similarly to our flats versus clips, we find that the one we thought would be most efficient, actually you've got the higher VO2. Yeah, that's a, that's a really bizarre one, I guess. The only comparable test was if we were to go out on the bike for a bit longer yeah. and see what actually happened and how I felt at the end of a bigger duration of a ride. According to these results, you can ride around sweet with your seat nice and low. So do you think you'll do it? Um, no, I think I'll have my seat in my correct position where I feel comfortable and I'll just work with it. Yeah, and I think we need to do a uh, you know, bigger test really. We need to ride, I think for two or three hours would really show the difference with this one. Definitely, and I think we need more people to compare as well. That would make it a lot, a bigger fair test. So seat up versus seat down, part two coming whenever. Whilst you're here on GMBN, why not check out some more of our videos? You can click up there, that'll take you through to our scientific test of clips versus flats in the lab. And perhaps you're going for a ride and you want to put your saddle at the correct position. You can click just down there for how to set your saddle height. Although I think we've just disproved all that as well, so you don't really need to, but yeah. check out the video nonetheless. Click in the middle to subscribe, it's totally free. And leave any comments down below. Give us a thumbs up.